So now we have the data reading, and now we need, just need to calibrate a scale. So um, I printed the scale, or we have a printed scale, thanks to Peter. And we have the load cell attached here. We have the spot where we put the uh, weights on, and then we have some sort of base. And then I will be using this 100 gram, or roughly 100 gram weight to calibrate it. So uh, we have those two, so I'm gonna set those aside right now. And then let's get into the programming of how to do this. So we have already, we have our top bunch of code, which has everything set up and it zeroes the scale with nothing on it. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is have the user uh, put a known weight on the scale. So uh, what we're gonna ask the user to do is put a uh, known weight on the scale. So place known weight on scale and press enter. All right, and, th and so this input function here is just uh, pauses the program and waits for the person to play, uh, press enter. And from that, we're gonna get a reading from that. So once the known weight is on, we're gonna say reading equals hx dot uh, get data mean, and we can if we just put parentheses here, by default, it takes 30 readings. If we want more readings, we can type in readings equals 100. So it's gonna take 100 readings and take the mean of those readings. So maybe more might be a little bit better for calibration purposes. Okay, so uh, it's gonna take those readings. And then next, we're gonna want the user to enter the known weight in grams. So what this is going to do is ask the user to uh, type in the known weight, and I better say, and, and press enter, and press enter. Okay, and we wanna save these values, so we're gonna put, uh, take those values and save them. So we're gonna call this known weight grams, set that equal to the input there, okay? And after we do that, we're gonna make, we wanna make sure that the, this known weight grams is, is actually a decimal number instead of maybe an integer. So we're gonna say value equals float known weight grams. So all this does when we say float, we're forcing this number to be a decimal. That's all that's doing. And we're gonna set a ratio now. So we're gonna say the ratio equals the reading over the value. So we're gonna take the reading, which we get from the first thing of putting the known weight on, and then we're gonna divide it by our known weight. That's what we're gonna do. And then we just have to set the board. Uh, we're gonna set that using hx.set scale ratio, and we're just gonna input that value here that we calculated. Now after that, we can just uh, see what the uh, the board is reading. So we're, while true, meaning it's gonna run forever, we're gonna say uh, weight is equal to hx get weight mean, so we're using weight this time. So, and then we're gonna print that out. So we're gonna print print weight. Okay, so just going back through this, 
we take some readings with a known weight, we enter what the known weight is, we calculate a ratio, and we set the scale using that ratio, and then we're just gonna read after that. So let's go ahead and run this. So I'm gonna go up here, click Run, So it says place known weight on the scale and press enter. So I'm gonna take the 100 grams here and place that on the scale. I'll press enter and it should start collecting data. So it's collecting data right now. And then it says enter the known weight in grams and press enter. So this, let's just say it's 100, it's close to 100. So let's just say 100 and then press enter. And now we should start collecting the weights. So as you can see there, it's 99.99, 100.02, 100.01. So there we can have different weights. Now if I just place my hand on the scale and press down a little bit, we should get a larger value. 200, 350, so your scale should be calibrated at this point.